a villain or a bad guy, somebody who was really despicable, they'd say, why don't you go out and get Lee Van Cleef? He's probably played more villains than any other person in motion pictures. Uh, his eyes are, are such that he, he got, the, uh, got the term angel eyes referred to him. And he can currently be seen playing the good guy, believe it or not, in the NBC series The Master, which is on... Did I say on NBC? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll say it again. On NBC Fridays at 9 p.m., would you welcome Lee Van Cleef? <laughs> Good to see you, Lee. Hey, thank you. Nice to have I don't think you've ever been with us, have you? No, I haven't. And I don't, I'm not sure we have ever met. Maybe across a room or something. One time a long time ago. In New York. That could have been. In the late 60s. That's early. right. You are right. Between the middle and late 60s. You've got a good memory. You started uh, in stage in New York. I suppose most people think because of all the roles you played in motion pictures, you started in pictures. But was stage work first? Yeah, it was stage work. Very funny entrance into it. Uh, <laughs> I did a couple amateur shows back in Clinton, New Jersey, with the music hall players there, which is quite a popular group. And incidentally, I like that last note. Thank you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> and all the rest of it. Thank you. You can have it if you want it. Uh, <laughs> I can, yeah, I can sure. have it. Okay. No, but uh, the last director, after a couple amateur shows there, took me into New York, and uh, he said I should start studying dramatics. So he took me in there to meet somebody, and they immediately sent me to the Alvin Theater. And... Uh, <laughs> I got up on the stage there. I didn't know what I was doing. I got up on the stage there, and uh, the director says, read some lines. The stage manager hands me the script. I read the lines. I flub all the way through it. And uh, he says, OK, take your jacket off. And I read some more lines with my jacket off. And he says, take your shirt off. And I'm beginning to get the message. He wants muscle. Oh, and in those days, I had a little. <laughs> <laughs> and so then uh, after the shirt he says take your pants off I said no wait just a minute uh, you, with, with the broad sitting down there with yeah. you I'm talking to Joshua Logan I don't even know who he is huh. and <laughs> he says you got jockeys on haven't you I, yeah I, I got shorts on I usually wear shorts yeah so, <laughs> so he says well take your pants okay so I sit down on a bit now this is a deck of the ship rigged there so I sit down on the bit, and I proceed to take my shoes off. And they want muscle, you know, so when you put your heel down, the calf muscles stick out for you. you know? So I said, I'm going to take my shoes off because I don't want to wreck the inside of my pants. Do you mind? So I took my pants off, got up on the hatch cover, and started, you know, pirouetting around there a little bit, and <laughs> uh, read some more lines very badly. And he says, okay, get dressed and come down here. I want to talk to you. So down I went. And he says, I want you to start tomorrow. That was it? That was it. Only I didn't start tomorrow. Uh, not exactly. Uh, I said, I can't. I've got to close up the books. I was doing accounting on the side. I was working in a plant in the daytime. I had to give them two weeks' notice. I explained this to him. He said, don't call us. We'll call you. Mm -hmm. So I got back to the plant the next day. That was a Friday. I told my boss, who had been on stage himself, and he says, you're fired. You're fired. You really want to do this, don't you? I said, yeah, you're fired. You don't have to give us two weeks' notice. I fire you right now. So that was that. I closed up the books. I gave them to another accountant to take care of, and that was it. You never went stage. back to anything but the stage. You never went back to anything except the stage. Well, not the stage, but the, the screen. The play happened to be Mr. Roberts. Not a bad vehicle. That's a pretty a good start vehicle. with John yeah. Forsythe first and then Hank Fonda. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Do you ever get tired of playing bad guys in the motion pictures? You've played some, uh, some pretty good heavies. No, they're pretty good characters, actually. Yeah. They've got a lot of depth, some of them. Right. If you can get some sympathy mixed with the, the horrible things you're supposed yeah. to be doing. Did anybody ever try to change you physically? Yes. In the first picture. Yeah. I was, uh, Stanley Kramer saw me in... I knew, er, in uh, Mr. Roberts, and he called me up. He wanted me to do the part of Harvey Pell in High Noon. Right. And uh, he said, but I want you to fix your nose. Well, my nose is kind of a trademark with me. They call me Hawk Nose on every yeah. set I get on. It's a good, solid nose. Yeah, I, th I, I like character. it. Yeah. yeah, depth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that. So I told him what to do with himself, and, uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, that was the end of that interview. 
called me back the next day and wants me to play a heavy. So that was my first picture. I played yeah. a heavy in High Noon. That was one of the great classics of all oh, time. Must have been proud yeah. of me in that picture. It was beautiful. Do you have a problem? I remember reading that when Humphrey Bogart would go into bars, people would have seen all of his pictures where he played the tough guy. Oh. Do you, would you get this? Does that happen when you get somebody who's had a couple of belts? Many see years. you in there and then come over and say, hey, you're, you're the tough guy in pictures and start mm -hmm. to try to get a brouhaha yeah. going? Uh, are you as tough as you're playing the picture? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Years ago, but there's no challenge now. They look at me and I'm an old bald-headed man, you know. Well, how would you, you handle it those days? How'd you handle it? Yeah, tried to talk your way out of it, you know. But if you can't talk your way out, then you... I happen to get lucky, that's all. Yeah. What's the, the new show? You play the good guy. Yeah. yeah. The ninja. Yeah. The ninja. That's the secret... Uh, ninja. The secret Japanese very, society. Very, very secret, so mystical that we... Uh, there are many views of what uh, a ninja really is. Um, he's a phantom. He's so mysterious that you don't know a ninja unless you happen to be confronted with one. They dress in, uh, in black outfits right. and with nothing showing but their eyes. And they hide in the shadows and do what they're supposed to do. They manage to do many, many things. Yeah. yeah. They use all the ancient weapons as well as the, just the barehanded martial arts. Yeah.